You know, optical communication has been replacing copper for decades, first at long distances and then at shorter and shorter distances as data rates rise and energy consumption becomes an important fact. This new category we're calling optical I.O. is really taking the benefits of optical communication and bringing it as close to the source as possible, in fact, inside the compute package in the form of a chiplet. Um, that's what IR Labs is doing and one can imagine the future world where you know, all data communications inside data centers, inside, uh, you know, 5G telecommunication towers, inside advanced radar systems, um, all those copper traces on the motherboard will eventually be replaced by fiber optic uh, communication and traces. In our case, at IR Labs here, we're building a small chiplet uh, using silicon photonics technology and a specific device called a micro ring resonator to accomplish this feat. Um, my name is Charlie Wishpard. I'm the CEO of Viral Labs. Uh, this is the journey we've been on for a number of years. Um, and we have support from most of the major uh, semiconductor uh, players in the industry. Um, people like Intel, NVIDIA, Hewlett Packard Enterprise, Lockheed Martin, Applied Materials, uh, Global Foundries, where we manufacture our silicon. To give you an idea what this is like, here are two samples. One is, first, I'll show you the chiplet that we're building, which will ultimately be co-packaged with, uh, with our customers, Compute ASIC. Um, and it's essentially converting electronic data signals or electrons to photons and exiting the package via these fiber optic uh, lines. Now what that looks like, you know, sort of fully packaged, here's an example of a customer project of ours where the centerpiece is a manufactured uh, AI accelerator ASIC with four of our chiplets co-packaged in this multi-chip package. This is a two and a half D package. Um, and, you know, simply, and we don't show the fibers attached here, but simply we've, uh, we're moving an extreme amount of data at very low energy and very low latency, you know, from the electrical domain into the optical domain via, via photons. Um, these little chips, to give you a, an estimate, are handling over well, today are handling two terabits of data communication in each direction um, in a very dense uh, edge, edge uh, transmitting at less than five picojoules per second, or yeah, five picojoules. What that translates to is uh, a chiplet that's moving, you know, essentially four terabits of data at approximately 10 watts and doing it with nearly error-free transmission. We've measured the transmission at 1E minus 15 bit, bit error rate, um, which means that we achieve very low latency from point to point in this communication. This turns out to be, you know, very important for applications uh, like AI training, uh, scale out architectures. Uh, you've probably read about ChatGPT over the years, uh, over, especially over the last few months, and that's uh, been an incredible tailwind for us as people recognize that the interconnect and the interconnect latencies and bandwidths are a big driver in the overall performance of these systems and, and their ultimate capability and efficiency. And so that's a big opportunity for us. Um, we look forward to the day when uh, all data centers are communicating, you know, right from the package via, via fiber optics using, using IR Labs optical I.O. And I thank you for the opportunity.